At the current point in time, we probably all have the same thing on our mind, COVID-19, and there's a good reason for it. Co COVID-19 is affecting everyone's lives, and the government is doing its best to fix the problem, because they don't have a choice. If something wasn't done to prevent, if something wasn't done when the problem arose, coronavirus would now be out of control. To prevent this from happening, the government took a proactive approach, trying their best to find a solution and prevent an outbreak and find a vaccine. They were able to act accordingly to resolve the issue. Today, I'm going to be talking about the tragedy of the horizons. With coronavirus, the government acted immediately. However, they are more reluctant to act where they can't, when they can't see the effects of the problem immediately like climate change. With climate change, the impacts are subtle but common. Things that the government can pass off for a long heat wave or a drought. But as time progresses, these weather events are becoming more and more common, and it is remarkable how governments are still refusing to accept this. They are still refusing to accept their own information as well. In 2000, they released a report about Australia and the effects of climate change. The report stated, Australia should start to feel the effects of climate change through larger scale bush, bushfires and a longer fire season. These effects should become, become apparent in around 20 years. 20 years have passed, and in January, Australia experienced some of the most severe fires they have ever seen. These fires burnt 18 million, 636,079 hectares of land, killed 441 people and 3 billion animals. These, the effect of these fires was increased by, the, um, by a long drought which also brought a rise in temperature. Governments are still failing to notice that these are just not coincidences. They are increasing in frequency and severity and will continue to do so if we do not act accordingly to solve the problem. But here's where we hit a wall. The government is unwilling to do anything on problems which aren't affecting them right now. They will not impact the politicians during their terms in office and so they are reluctant to do anything about it. Tra this is the tragedy of the horizons which is the incapability for governments to see past current issues. The blindness politicians have to anything that isn't affecting them right now and the thought that just because consequences don't exist, you, just because you can't see the actions of your consequences now, means they don't exist. And these are the thoughts that we need to change. We, we need to, and to do this, we need to break the tragedy of the horizons. It is not the politicians who will feel the effects of climate change. It will be their children and grandchildren who have to live with the consequences of their actions. We need to think of what the impact of our actions will have in 20 years. What will it be like for the next generation when it is too late to reverse the damage that has been caused by their grandparents? We need to break the tragedy of the horizons and to do that we need to take a proactive approach to solve climate change.